Hey what's up guys welcome to Fine Gap YouTube channel and in today's video I will teach you how you can create an Android app using ChatGPT. In this video we will convert our website into Android app using modern AI tool ChatGPT. So friends video is going to be more important and before start I request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos. So first of all open the Google and search here download android studio because we will require android studio to create android app and here you can see that download link just click on this and from here you can download the android studio or you can watch a complete tutorial on our youtube channel that how to download and install android studio on your windows here you can see that i have already installed this when you will open the android studio you will see a new project button just click on this and from here select mpt activity click on next and here give a name of your app application like video streaming and from here select the language java and press finish button android studio will create a simple project for you it will take a little bit time according to the speed of your computer next open the google and type here chat.openai.com forward slash chat so it will ask you for login because i have already logged so directly i have to type here what i want to do so i will type here create an android app for me in java that will display my website press enter and here you can see that it is telling me the process don't worry i will show you the practical so it this would be our xml code and similarly this would be our java code so first of all this is our xml code just click on this copy code open your android studio and open your activity underscore main dot xml file if you want to open this file you can open this from resource layout and activity dot underscore main dot xml file from here you have to click on code remove this default text view and paste that web view code here and because we are using constraint layout that's why when you will click on design just constraint it from all sides constraint it from here constraint it from bottom that's it next here you can see that it have provide me this java code just click on this copy code and open your main activity dot java and paste your code here just click on this and it is asking you that press R plus enter. I will press R plus enter button and click on import class. That's it. And here I have to again click R plus enter and click on import class. One more thing that you have to do. Open your manifest and android manifest.xml and here you have to ask for uses permissions. And here we will require an internet permissions. That's it. And in the last from this point dot load URL you have to change this URL just copy your website URL and paste at this position so I will open Google and type here suppose I want to display the YouTube I will simply copy the YouTube link paste here and this is my emulator that I have already installed and now I will click on this run app button so I can see the output so friends here you can see that my app is running on my android emulator i hope it will working fine on your device but i want to suggest you to add two more lines to enhance your android app functionality you just have to type here web settings this is a class create a, an object of this class web setting and here i will copy this web view and paste here i already type here but just for your teaching purpose i'm typing this again next type here web setting dot set javascript enabled is equal to true that's it i will remove this code and again i will run my android app click on terminate button so friends here you can see that the youtube is running on our android app friends maybe you have a news app or maybe whatever you are information you are giving on your website you can easily convert your website into android app using chat gpt let me know in the comment section if you like this video and share this video with your those friends who want to learn programming and Finally, thanks for watching.